All right, so hello everyone. My name is Tulio Leon, and today I'll be talking about the STUD C++20. Will it compile? That is the question. So I hope not everyone has made the jump already, and this is not just material for me, but I think lot, lots of people haven't moved into C++20 yet, and this is a collection of issues that I face that I think might be useful for you to debug. So here's a collection of how my slides will go. Uh, there will always be a Godbolt link at the top. Uh, there will be a code except at most 10 lines of code. What the compiler error shows up, it's not always obvious. And then a suggestion of a solution. It's not a final suggestion. So the first one, pretty easy one, uh, using reserved keywords as names. Uh, you know that there are new keywords in C++20. Two of them are shown here, like requires and concept. And if you try to compile using C++20, you will get errors saying that it's expecting something else. So pretty easy solution. Just rename those variables as soon as possible. Rename them even before you move to C++20 to avoid any type of trouble. Then we get to identifiers reserved for the standard library. Anything starting with an underscore followed by uppercase letters and then there are other rules is reserved for the STL. So if you're defining this or if you're using identifiers that are named like this, you're bound to face some issue or you can face some issue at any time that you change the compiler. So also just rename this because in this case, just including algorithm redefining this would get you to an error. Then we get to incompatibility between uh, string and U8String. File system came out on C17 and it had an API called U8String. But since U8String was not released back then, it used to return an STD string. So this used to work on C17, but it fails on C20 because now it returns a U8String and those types are not compatible. So the solution in here can vary. Either you change the left hand side to use U8String or you change the right hand side to use the string API, it really depends on whether you need UTF-8 or not. Then we have these redundant unallowed template ID. I think this one is interesting because though it was kind of valid code, it stopped being valid and you just have to remove this uh, angle brackets T to fix, but the error is not as straightforward as you would think. So if you see one of these types of errors when upgrading, know that it's just removing the angle brackets T here before the definition of the constructor or the destructor. Then I think this is the one that we hit the most. Uh, aggregate initialization of structs, it changed a lot. Uh, it used to be the case that even if you deleted a constructor on your struct, you could still do aggregate initialization on it up until C++17. So this would compile just fine. But since C++20, whenever you have deleted or user-defined or whatever constructors, you can't do aggregate initialization anymore. So this will fail with this completion error that this brace and close it initializer list uh, cannot be converted. And the solution in here is implement the constructor for your class. Uh, you can also alternatively remove the deletion of the constructor, but you would be probably taking away some part of documentation and, and kind of removing the intent of whoever wrote this first. So the solution in here is really to implement the constructor, but it might be painful if it, this was a long struct with lots of member variables. Then we get to some methods that were finally removed from STD allocator. They were deprecated, made obsolete, and they were finally removed in C++20, such as uh, construct and destroy and some others. And this will not compile anymore. It will say the classical message that there is no member named this. And the solution in here is to use the allocator traits alternatives instead, which were introduced to replace those. There's a bonus solution in here, uh, but it's incompatible with C++17, which is you can use std construct that and std destroy it. But like I said, this will not compile if you're not moving to C++20 yet. And finally, std accumulate changed how it handled binary operations. So now it moves the first parameter and it gives this nasty error that it will move if on 20 and etc. Uh, so you might face this a lot. The solution varies. You can use constref, you can remove reference, you can even stop using a std, uh, std accumulate. We saw this on the lightning talks previously. So I won't give the final solution in here, just investigate for yourself. I hope this helps you move into C++20. Uh, my name is here and this is my handle mostly everywhere. And feel free to reach me out if you want to talk later. Thank you.